Hello everyone. So I wanted to come on here and just talk a little bit about love. My hardest name, business name is Akasha Love. Akash is space, space for love. And this is basically my rest of life mission. And so I just wanted to talk about what is love really? I think love is the energy that all of us are. Love is who we actually are. The energy of the universe is love. The power of the universe comes from love. And everything that is not love is an illusion, right? Fear, false expectations appearing real is an illusion. And when we are lost in fear, we are lost in illusion. It's not real. Reality is love. But to create a loving relationship, it's something else. It's literally a a project. It's something that you are building. It's literally, you can think of it as a ship. You're building a ship on which you can journey together, on which you can travel together. And I think it's a good metaphor because what does it involve to build a ship? You have to use the right materials, right? You have to use materials which are watertight. You have to know how to construct the ship. You have to know about shipbuilding. You have to have some skills around, around that. You have to know uh, how to make the interior, how to make the exterior. You, have, you need to know whether it wants a sail or an engine. So all of these things, the same in a loving relationship, you need to have the basic um, building blocks and foundations in place in order for that relationship to actually be seaworthy, to actually be able to float and to move. And what are those foundations? I think um, you need to know that you are a match with that person in terms of your values. So what do you value in life? What are your values in terms of your morals? So yeah, what is right and wrong? Those things have to align. Otherwise, you'll, you'll both be working on that ship, but that ship will not be the same looking ship. Some, one half of the ship will look totally different to the other half and it won't be able to sail, it won't be able to float because if there's a mismatch in morals or values, it's, you, can't, you can't build that relating ship together very well. So you have to, I think, have an alignment there of morals and of values. And then um, you also need to have either a spoken promise or, or an inner promise, both of you, that um, you will be transparent as much as humanly possible with the other person. And that if you are going through something which is really challenging and really difficult for you, you will tell the other person rather than project it onto them and act out. So transparency. Also, you really need to also be in a relating ship to build a relating ship 
with someone who's on the same page as you in terms of wanting to grow. So not everybody wants to grow at the same level as you. Some people are invested in holding on to um, a past version of themselves. Some people are afraid of, of really growing because really, really um, being committed to growing means that you really, really have to face everything in yourself. You have to be really radically honest. And that can be scary for some people. It can be really scary. So you need to also be aligned in, in that um, life direction, if you like, knowing where you are headed, how much you want to grow. If you really, really want to grow, are you really, really dedicated to growing together? Because if you're not, if there's an imbalance there, somebody really, really wants to grow and the other person is really holding on to old, outdated versions of themselves, that's also going to be a imbalance in that ship that you're building together. It's also not going to sail very well. So there are so many things involved in actually building and sailing a relating ship successfully, right? Especially um, an intimate relating ship. So a couple relationship where you're actually building a life together. There are so many things involved that um, you need to think about. You really need to understand, is this person um, a match for, for the ship that I want to build? Do we want to build the same kind of relating ship? Do their values align with me? Do their morals align with me? Are they willing and ready and open to grow at the same level as me? Where are they headed in their life? What do they want to learn next? And where even do they want to go next? Where do they want to take the ship together with you? So love, I guess, my this is my learning. Love is not enough love or attraction or chemistry it's not enough it's important and essential especially um, of course respect which is also a really important huge part of love but it's not enough for um, building a healthy relationship it's um, it's a part of it but um, in order for you to really grow together with a person in love and to really get to a place of real deep love you need to build this container of the relationship you need to construct a really strong foundation for your relationship which is a safe and secure foundation um, which you can both depend upon so you need to both be in agreement that you're both there for each other, that you're both going to be honest with each other, that you're not hiding anything from the other person and that you're invested in a similar level in the relationship and that you are equally um, going to also um, repair that relationship if um, some holes um, start to, to show in that construction of the ship or when the ship's already sailing so so many things involved and why am I sharing this I guess um, I share it for myself and everything I share is for myself and then overflowing hopefully it benefits you um, I guess Ultimately, if it doesn't work out, your relating ship um, for whatever reason, and there might be multiple reasons, I think it can help um, to understand this, um, that 
it's not really personal to you that they're relating well it is and it's not okay so both of you both people who were in this project of trying to build this relationship are both equally responsible of whether that ship um, is built and is able to sail and keep them both afloat or not um, and the way that you can kind of take away that pain especially if you have a pain of feeling rejected or abandoned by the other person is just to really focus on your own part of that relationship and really look at what you learned about yourself and really um, focus on yourself keep the focus on yourself ask yourself if you have a capacity to really open your heart if you have a capacity to really be vulnerable and if yeah understand that um, perhaps you really didn't see that you were not um, aligned with the person that you were um, wanting to build your relationship with you were not aligned enough in all of those things I've talked about the values morals um, and the level of soul growth or evolution that you um, were both aiming for so I think those are the three key things that are really really important to be aligned with in order for that um, relationship to be a solid foundation for a deepening of real love, which, um, and real love takes real, real vulnerability, takes real honest self-accountability. It takes, um, yeah, you have to, you have to be real. You have to share your truth. It, it takes, you have to let go of all your defenses and so in order to do that you need to have that solid foundation of the alignment of all those things so that that feels that relationship feels like an emotionally safe place for you so you can, you can emotionally open share be real be true because you're feeling safe because you know that person shares your values in perhaps truth honesty um, accountability, owning your shit, um, not projecting as much as you possibly can, not projecting, not manipulating, not using somebody's um, vulnerability against them. So you have to be on the same page with all of those things in order for um, that relationship to be a safe space for the development of real love. So that's my learning and sharing as of today. Um, and I hope that's helpful for you. And if it is, I would love to hear your thoughts and comments.